This is kind of a hard question to mess up. No offense if you accidentally made a mistake. Feel free to comment with what you did wrong. I am kind of curious, but basically it's just asking about one of the most fundamental pieces of math information that we need for the entire SAT and PSAT. We need to know what is a y-intercept. These come up in lots of different places. So you might just visually know that the y-intercept is where a line or a graph of some kind intersects the y-axis, right? That's the vertical axis. So in this case, it's literally just where does this line hit that y-axis, it's at the point eight. And just based on the choices, you can kind of tell that only one even makes sense. That's choice D is the only one that even includes the number eight. But on harder versions of this question, they might also include the reverse, eight zero, which of course is actually the point down here. So just be careful that we don't confuse X and Y. Uh, maybe you're just new to algebra, you're just new to the XY plane, but I will say that confusing X and Y is one of those traps that the SAT sets in a lot of different type, types of questions. So you've gotta be able to separate them X is first in the alphabet, it's also first in a coordinate, on a point. And most of the time the labels are gonna be there so you can just remind yourself of which axis is which. But always remember too, the X is the horizontal axis, the Y is the vertical axis. You can even think about the, the way that the Y is drawn, right? Y is gonna have this big, nice, long tail. And to me, that's how I used to remember it as a kid, is the, the Y going up and down. It's a very up and down letter and it's because it represents an up and down axis. So whatever it takes, remember that, but also if we have a y-intercept question where we don't involve the graph at all, just also remember that the, the main thing that is true of every single y-intercept in existence is that the x-coordinate will always equal zero. So we can plug that x into an equation if we've got it and find the y-intercept just by putting in zero and seeing what happens. So this is a very important concept. It will come up again and again. So make sure you're comfortable with the concept of a y-intercept.